الرحمن الرحيم لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم الحمد لله رب العالمين صلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى الطيبين الطاهرين اللهم أخرج لي من ظلمات الفهم وأكرمي من نور الفهم اللهم افتح علينا أبواب رحمتك وانشر علينا قزاء ونعوذ منك برحمتك يا رحمة الرحيم We said hearts with respect to their changes are one of the three. The first we have studied, the heart which is purified, which has taqwa, and we said it keeps going forward and receiving inspirations and light. We already talked about this and we said things will come easy for it. And we had very beautiful discussions. The second type is Al-Qalb-Thani, Al-Qalb-Al-Makhdul, Al-Mashhoon Bil-Hawa, Al-Mudannas Bil-Khaba'is, Al-Mulawwath Bil-Akhlaq Al-Zameen. The second type of heart is opposite to the first part in the sense that it's not Omer taqwa it's not developed with taqwa it is al-makhzul means it's abundant no one has taken care of this heart no one has <coughs> after the heart it's filled with hawa, lower desires with wings, <coughs> it is made dirty with khaba'ith, unpleasant things, and it's polluted with vicious traits of character. It's jealous, it's selfish, it's I don't know, fear food, so on and so forth. Al Mufatahat fiha abwabu shayateen. And Satan's have opened gates for themselves to get into this heart. You remember we talked about Abwabu Shaytan, where the madakhil that Shaytan can get, like hairs, like hasad, like, uh, you know, uh, ajala, all these things. So, Shayateen have opened gates for themselves to this heart. Al Masdudat Anhu Abwabul Malaika. But the gates for angels to get into this heart are all closed. Locked. Yeah, and locked. Wa Mabda Usharrafi. Now, the beginning of bad things to happen is and Something bad comes as a thought, as an idea, an occurrence. You know, in the previous one, something good was coming. Here, something bad comes. That, for example, I do this haram to enjoy myself. Okay? Then, when something like this happens, a bad thought comes to the heart. Because aql has to decide. So, aql looks at the Aql, sorry, Qalb looks at the Aql as Hakim, as the one who has to rule and judge. 
Layastaftia min. So that asked. What should we do? Estefta means, you know, we ask fatwa, means we have ask guidance. Galb is impure. Bad idea comes to the galb, to the heart. But still, heart wants to check with apple because the king is apple. So, لِيَسْتَفْتِ مِنْ وَيَسْتَكْشِفْ وَجْحَ السَّوَابِ Fi and ask the Aql, what is the right choice here? What is Sabab? Sabab is Sad, not Sad. <laughs> sad means right. Yeah, Sabab. But the problem is this person's Aql is corrupt. You know, like, like, for example, suppose we have a city and we have a governor or a judge mm -hmm. and we say to the police or to the people agents if you want to do something you have to have permission from the governor or from the judge okay you cannot do it on your own but we have corrupt police and corrupt agents and also the judge is corrupt so they say okay we take for you letter from the judge but the judge is with them it doesn't solve the problem so we have a procedure but the procedure does not stop mischief because everyone is corrupt yeah so you say you know bring me one letter from the judge. He says, I bring you ten letters from the judge. <laughs> <laughs> so you say, this person, check with your agl. He brings you ten arguments that he must do this haram. <laughs> because agl is corrupt. You understand? فَيَكُونُ الْعَقْلِ قَدْ أَلِفَ خِدْمَةَ الْهَوَى This agl is used to serving the whims, you know, they have been bri like you know bribing the judge, yes. and the judge is used to serve them. Wa yes. is acquainted with this. Wastamara alastin batil hial lahu fi muwafaqatil hawa is. For some time, istamarra means continuously, this agl has been finding tricks and loopholes to justify what Hawaii nafs and you know those appetites and whims were is after. It the desire? Pardon? Hawa? The Hawa, is it the desire? Or yeah, lower desire, not good desire, lower desire. Wings no or yeah. yeah. So Estamarra Alastin Batil Hiyal Lahu fi Mwa Fatal Hawa Wam Musa Adatihi. You know, sometimes we have in some places in some countries there are ulama or salatin, there are you know ulama fuqaha they are used to find, you know, loopholes to give green light to the people who have power. They are used to this. Adult also can become like this. فَتُسَوِّلُ النَّفْسِ لَهُ وَتُسَاعِدُ عَلَيْهِ so when Agl is used to do this, then the whole soul of this person will decorate, taswil means false decoration, taswil, yeah? It falsely shows this as something pleasant and good and beautiful. Wa tusa'idu alay, nafs helps over this. 
This, this person becomes ready and prepared to follow his whims. And then the darknesses will spread in this heart. Why? Because army of Agl are not able to do anything. Then the power and sovereignty of Shaitan will become strong. Because it is Agl that should stop Shaitan. What should we do when our Agl is serving Shaitan? You know, the king with his army should stop invaders. If there is a country and there are enemies, they want to invade our country. Who should stop them? The king and his army. But if the king himself is working with enemies and the army are corrupt, so they give whole country peacefully to the enemy. And the enemy says, okay, I don't change you. You remain here. <laughs> yeah? I don't need to change you. You remain here because on the surface, everything looks nice. There is Ab, there is, you know, Junud, <laughs> but indeed nothing. Fayakwa Sultan Shaitan. Sultan doesn't mean king. Sultan means sovereignty, power. Let Tesa'i Makanahi. Because the place for shaitan, the space for shaitan has become very wide. Because when there is hawa, hawa in, you know, for nafs, the wings, it means shaitan can come. This was the situation before shaitan. Now shaitan, the enemy comes in. And now shaitan does more deception. By tazyin. By making bad things very attractive. Yeah? Mm. By amani, you know, give you desires and, you know, dreams of future which are not realistic. And also starts communicating by using words which are coated with gold. You know, it means look nice, but it's only deception. Then the power and sovereignty of Iman becomes weak. You have Iman that there is Va'ad, promise for reward and heaven, and Va'id, threat. Va'ad is for positive, Va'id is for negative. Va'ad can be both, but when we say Va'ad and Va'id, then Va'ad becomes for positive. We say promise, Va'id is threat. So he knows there is heaven, he knows that there is hell, but there is no strength in this Iman. Cannot, you know, stand against that temptation. The light of certainty about Akhira becomes very, very weak. This light is going to be almost off. Why this light is very weak is yatasa'adu an al hawa dukhanun mudlimun il al qalb because a very thick smoke comes from these lower desires and fill the heart and then you cannot see it. There is no light, it's smoked, it's clouded. It's very beautiful, you know, if you 
really think about it that how sometimes even people who are believers they cannot see the truth and they make bad things yeah because this smoke they cannot see the truth <coughs> It's like Yes. It feels all corners, all the you know different parts of the heart. To the extent that the lights can be extinguished, can be switched off completely. <coughs> It becomes like the eye that there is so much smoke that filled the eye that cannot see. Yeah. وَهَكَذَا تَفْعَلُ غَلَبَةُ الشَّحْوَةِ بِالْقَالِ In the same way that smoke can stop eye seeing, shahawat can stop heart. Hatta la yabqa lil qalb imkanu tawaqqufi wal istibsar. Heart cannot stop and try to see. It's made unable to see. Walu basarahu wa'idun. And now suppose. Such people, months of Ramadan comes and a preacher comes to preach them. What can this preacher do? When in their heart there is no light left and it's filled with the smoke of desires, what can this person do? Lo basarahu wa'idhun. A preacher wants to give them basira insight. <laughs> and makes them listen to the truth. Unfortunately, they don't understand. Amiya mm anilfa. -hmm. This heart is blind, you cannot see. Their ear is. <coughs> Deaf cannot understand the truth. Wahajat al Shahwa, wa nashaq al Shaytan, wa taharakat al Jawarih ala wafr al Hawa. Shahawat become, you know, triggered and stimulated, and Shaytan becomes active, and then with the organs of the body moves towards satisfying. His whims and appetites. And then, ظهرت المعصية إلى عالم الشهادة من خزاء الغيب بقضاء من الله وقدره. And then, scenes start coming. Of course, he says قضاء قدر, but not in the sense that this person is not free. You know. Ghazali was also Ash'ari, and therefore his ideas about Qadar and Qadar is not like us, but we believe that there is Ghazal and Qadar for everything, but not in the sense that you are not free. Because we, we say your freedom is part of the complete cause, and Qadar is the necessity that is coming when the cause is completed. You remember in Aqaid we talked about Qadr and Qadr. <coughs> then he says, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has referred to this type of heart in this ayah, you know, Surah Furqan, verse 43. Ara'ayta He's not just obeying. It has become the God. His hawa, his lower desires, his apathies have become the God, the Lord. Or, لَقَدْ حَقْ 
قل قول على أكثرهم فهم لا يؤمنون. The truth, the word of truth has been confirmed and explained very clearly for them. They don't believe. So now they are not able. It's you know like it's sealed. The hearts are sealed. وَسَبَاءٌ عَلَيْهِمْ أَعَنْذَرْتَهُمْ أَمْ لَمْ تُنْذِرْهُمْ لا يؤمنون They have reached the point that it doesn't make difference whether you warn them or not. They don't believe. Then he says, sometimes this can be the condition of heart with different types of shahawat, Sometimes heart is weak with respect to maybe one type of shahawat. For example, with respect to money, with respect to position. So sometimes all these shahawat can be there, sometimes only one of them. رُبَّ قَلْبٍ هَذَا حَالُوا بِالْإِذَافَةِ إِلَى الشَّحَوَاتِ وَرُبَّ قَلْبٍ هَذَا حَالُوا بِالْإِذَافَةِ إِلَى بَعْضِ الشَّحَوَاتِ Sometimes it's with all shahawat, sometimes only some of the shahawat. For example, كَالَّذِي يَتَوَرَّعُوا أَنْ بَعْضِ الْأَشْيَاءِ There can be a person who has vara, taqwa, with respect to certain things. For example, he never eats haram. He never drinks alcohol. He says his prayer. Okay? But he cannot, or he does not, not that he cannot, he does not stop looking at haram. If all people of the world want to say, you know, please eat this haram meat, no. Drink alcohol, no. But he looks at haram. Okay? So he says, كَالَّذِي يَتَبَرَّعُ عَنْ بَعْضِ الْأَشْيَاءِ وَلَكِنَّهُ إِذَا رَأَى وَجْهًا حَسَنًا لَمْ يَمْلِكْ عَيْنَهُ وَقَلْ but if a beautiful face appears either outside or maybe on TV, maybe on internet, mm -hmm. movie, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. cannot stop his heart and his eyes. Lam yamlik aynahu wa qalbahu. وَطَاشَ أَقُلْهُ His aql is affected and he cannot control his heart. Or, some people لَا يَمْلِكُ النَّفْسَهُ فِي مَا فِيهِ الْجَاهُ وَالْرِعَاسَةُ وَالْكِبْرِ Some people, no, they don't eat haram, they don't drink alcohol, they do all wajibat, they don't look at namahram very careful, but when there is position, they want to become, I don't know, head of an organization or a community or leader or I don't know, minister or member of parliament. For position, they cannot resist against temptations. So it cannot stop there. Oh, can ladi la yamlikun nafsahu inda al ghazab? Mahma ustuh gara. There is someone that when people don't show respect and you know humiliate him, or he feels he is humiliated, he cannot control his anger. He cannot suppress his anger. أو ذكر عيب من عيوبه. If someone mentions they have a fault, says you know you made mistake here or you have this bad habit, he becomes angry. He cannot control this aspect. 
او كالذي لا يملك نفسه عند القدره على اخذ درهم او دينار some people don't look at now Ram, they you know control their anger everything they manage to control even for example position but money they cannot resist against temptation for having money yeah so i don't need position i want to have money so that i can enjoy myself too. so this is also another problem بل يتهالك عليه تهالك الواله المستحدث. Like someone who is very much in love with money, follows money, then forgets أخلاق, forgets تقوى. Why? Why all this happened? كل ذلك لتصاعد الدخان الهوى إلى القلب. Because a smoke from these appetites and lower desires go and fill the heart. Heart has a high position. It says a tasa'ot. They ascend the smoke. You know, a smoke goes towards the sky. This smoke goes to the heart. Hatta yudlim. Yad, it's not Yadlam, Yodlam. Yodlam is it becomes dark. Mudlam is dark. Watantafa'u minhu anwarul basira. The lights of basira, the lights of insight for understanding right, wrong, becomes extinguished. Fayantafa'u minhu nurul haya. There is no modesty. You know, haya is not only for hijab and, you know, man and woman relation. Mu'min should have haya with respect to any haram. Yeah? Because mu'min feels embarrassed to do any haram under the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yeah? It's not just <coughs> issue of, you know, chastity. It's more than that. Any haram. If you consider that Allah is watching you, yeah, you know, always we should remember a few things. <coughs> One is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is watching us. Alam ya'lam bi Allah ya. The second thing is that the Imam of our time is also aware. Plus, he receives reports. So, they are also watching. Either the action or the report of the action or both. So, if anything we do, just before doing, we remind ourselves that Allah is watching me. And Imam is watching me. Third, on the day of judgment in front of all people, my actions will be presented. That's the most terrible thing. Because in front of, you know, all people, we feel then, you know, we have no reputation, no, no honor. So, anything that, at least, you know, those things that we can stop intentionally. You know, sometimes, for example, maybe you forget and you commit a sin. Of course, this should not happen. But at least whenever there is a way for you to think a little bit, quickly brings these things to your mind. Okay? Allah is watching me. My Imam is watching and aware. And then all people, my father, my mother, my wife, my husband, my children, my neighbors, my uh, friends, my enemies, everyone is going to watch this. 
So then I think you would not dare mm. doing things like this. But such people, because they are used to do this, mm -hmm. the light of haya, the light of modesty, will be off. So I wanted to explain that haya is not only for uh, men and women issue, it's much more than. Wal in Farsi we say Muruah. Muruah Muru'a means Muru'a means to be noble. To be a person of merits and virtues. Muru'a. To observe the norms and standards. This is Muru'a. For example, ulama say for an alim to take a sandwich and you know uh, eat while he's walking, this is against moru'a. Pardon? This is against merits. It's not haram, but it's against me because moru'a means to observe even the standards and norms of the society. So it's not only you don't do haram, not, do, not only you don't do anything immoral, but even you don't do anything which is unexpected from a person in your position. Yeah? yeah. This is more why. Yeah. Well, Iman, the light of Iman also will be switched off. وَيَسْعَى فِي تَحْسِيلِ مُرَادِ الشَّيْطَانِ And then he will try to work for gaining what shaitan wants from him. مُرَادُ الشَّيْطَانِ means مَا يُرِيدُهُ الشَّيْطَانِ What is the will of shaitan? What is the aim of shaitan? He tries to do that. So, this is the second type of heart. As you see, we should try not to reach this point. Because if someone has reached this point, when there is no light left, no haya left, mm -hmm. it's very, very difficult, if possible at all, to come out of this. So we should not let this happen. This is a very good question. How we can help someone who is in this condition? <coughs> it's very difficult. Mm -hmm. Even if you have wa best of the wa is in the best of you know preachers, mm -hmm. it's very difficult. Because if someone has no internal preacher, yeah. external preacher cannot do anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very difficult. But one of the best things that can change these people is not necessarily through a speaking to them, through giving them, you know, advice. Is your light. You know, if someone is getting frozen, if you speak, you know, for hours, please don't get frozen, please don't get frozen. What's the benefit? It says, you know, please let me die. I prefer to be frozen, at least, you know, you don't damage my, you know, nerve. Give him words, not just talk to him. So sometimes if in your friends, your family, you have people who have moral problems, don't talk too much to them. This is too late. Give them warmth, give them hope, give them courage, give them light, be available for them. Show them that as a religious person, you care really for them. Not that you want to fulfill your duties. You know, sometimes they think that we just want to do Amr Ma'roof as a duty. We don't care about <laughs> I want just to put in the list that, oh Allah, I have done this Amr Ma'roof. No, they should know that you care for them. This may change. 
if they see your light, your love, your warmth, mm -hmm. your beautiful connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Mm -hmm. Yeah? So if they see my, for example, prayer and how I am connected to Allah, they will be affected. I don't need to talk about prayer. I'm not saying not to talk, but I'm saying for such people, it's too late to talk. <laughs> it should be through personal relation and indictment. Or through action. Yes, through action. You had a question? Yeah, uh, I don't know which. There's one Quranic verse where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala described the people of Rahman that when a bad idea comes to their heart, they remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What does that mean? You know, anything comes bad towards their heart, they quickly repent and they just... So what does that mean? So this is for muttaqin. That when those satans who go around ta'if, ta'if, it's like tawaf, means those who go around, then roaming satans. Because there are satans who are stationed, you know? Mm -hmm. And there are satans who go around to see who is heedless to attack. Inna taqaw, those who are muttaqi, they don't have fixed shaitan. Yeah? But these roaming, roaming, moving shayateen, they go around. When they see this muttaqi is heedless, they touch them. Okay? But as soon as Satan's touch muttaqi, tazakkaru, he remembers and then he starts seeing because they understand that this is a satanic touch. Yeah? A mu'min can understand that there is a satanic touch. Someone who is not muttaqi may then after the touch says, it's very nice, you know, could, could you continue? Come in. <laughs> but when a muttaqi shaitan touches it, go away. Okay? Tadakkaru. So, this shows that, first of all, shayateen are not fixed for them. Secondly, it's a matter of just touching. Because, as we said before, shaitan cannot get in unless you open the door. This is one of the beauties of Allah. That Allah has not given the key of our heart to anyone else. Even the big shaitan, Iblis, does not have, you know, that key. You know, we say in Farsi, Shakilid, what they say in English? Master key. It doesn't have the master key to open the heart. The problem is that we don't close the heart and let shaitan come. Or we say to shaitan, please keep this key whenever you want, you know, you can come. <laughs> I don't want to, you know, delay you. Just come in. <coughs> this is the problem. So, for muttaqin, shaitan cannot come in. Because they have closed. They are careful. But shaitan can come and knock the door. Massa touches. But as soon as shaitan touches, they realize that this is satanic. Tazakkaru. Because the way shaitan knocks the door and the way angels knock the door are different. If that touches that in Surah Al-Baqarah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, the one who deal with riba, they are like, they will come out on the day of resurrection. Like, that, that is, so basically it's coming through the sin. So, shaitan can come and then get more 
into our heart if we don't stop shaitan. Okay. Inshallah, we continue this discussion next week. We pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to enable us to safeguard our heart and mind and especially our aql from the attacks of shaitan and the attacks of lower desires and our wings. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala enlighten our heart always with his remembrance and remembrance of the hereafter. Remembrance of Allah and remembrance of the he hereafter are two important things to remember. May Allah inshallah give shifa to all people who are ill and send his rahmah to all mahrumin.